Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Calais Brink and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about this whole whoosh effect that happens with um, either taking ketones, keto OS, um, or just even on the keto diet. So we're going to jump into all of that and explain to you how that happens, what to look for, why to hide the scale, um, and what you can really um, expect with this whole whoosh effect. So um, getting started with it, of course, we have fat cells, and when we get into a state of ketosis, our body is burning fat for fuel. So um, when our body starts burning fat for fuel, those fat cells um, that you have, the fat is obviously going to start coming out of those cells, and our body uses it for fuel. Um, to replace that um, cell uh, and keep its shape, so to speak, our body puts water into those cells where the fat is getting pulled out from just to maintain that shape of the cell and of course for um, our body thinking that fat is going to be coming back into that cell when we are eating like a high carb um, or eating lots of carbon sugar and stuff like that that turns into fat and then placing back into the cell but if you're staying in a state of ketosis and you are using ketones which is putting your body into state of ketosis and you're burning that fat for fuel it is going to continue to pull that fat from the cells um, and they'll continue to fill with water to maintain that shape. Um, and it, this is gonna continue to happen, so just stay with it, don't look at the scale. Um, people may notice that they feel bloated, you're feeling um, you know, bloated and uh, feeling like you uh, have all this water retention, so to speak, and it's because you might possibly um, have that water retention, but it's because of that water being uh, retained in those fat cells. So just stay with it, stay true, don't look at the scale, go off of how you feel. If you're in a state of ketosis, you are most likely going to be noticing and feeling mental clarity, your energy, your mood's better, better sleep, better digestion, all those things that come along with um, being in a state of ketosis. Uh, so, and you can also test to see if you're in a state of ketosis. If you're not sure, by using urine strips, you can order them off Amazon. Um, and then test it that way and that will show you as well if you are in a state of ketosis. So just stay true, don't look at the scale, go off of how you feel and then just stay consistent with it because um, over time of course if you continue on your ketones, um, continue being in a state of ketosis, burning that fat for fuel, it's going to continue pulling that fat out of the cell and um, filling it with water and eventually of course um, all the fat's going to be pulled from that cell and it's going to shut down the cell that water is going to be released, the whoosh effect, and um, you are going to have probably a diuretic effect or feeling like you have to go to the bathroom and pee a lot um, when, you, when you are experiencing this whoosh effect that's happening from um, eventually that fat is all pulled from the cell and um, that water is going to be released and um, that fat cell will be shut down and gone for good. Um, and other people, um, a cool way to test out, um, you know, you're probably having this water retention is people on our team have used a body composition scale. Some um, home scales will do this. Otherwise they do have like um, medical grade scales at maybe your local gym, nutrition store, stuff like that. You can go and um, get on this scale and it will show you, you know, your muscle um, mass and um, water retention, all of that. Our bodies are actually made up of about 60% water um, which is insane when you think about it. So a 150 pound person is gonna be about 90 pounds of water weight. So when the scales fluctuate in a pound or two here or there with the water, that is not a lot when 90 pounds of that could be um, you know, your water. So that's insane, it's a ton. Um, so don't go off the scale, throw it away, hide it. I know it's hard not to look at, um, but when you're getting started, just don't focus on that. Um, focus on how you're feeling, how your clothes are fitting, and just know um, that this whoosh effect is coming. Um, and some people may not notice that whoosh effect, you know, totally, um, and others do. So just stay consistent with it and um, you will you will see that um, fat and weight and stuff like that come off with consistency. So make sure you are drinking a ton of water as you're gonna be, um, when you do have that whoosh effect happen, of course you're going to be going to the bathroom a lot and um, just being in a state of ketosis can make you be more dehydrated. So um, have electrolytes as well so you can do over-the-counter electrolytes you can order them off amazon um and other people like to do like the meal there's meal electrolytes you can use to put in with your water you can do that but make sure you're replenishing those electrolytes staying well hydrated um even though you may seem like why am i drinking more water when i'm retaining so much but um keep drinking your water to stay hydrated 
Uh, other people do ask me about, you know, when you first get started on ketones, um, you may notice that you have some diarrhea. That is your body pulling those toxins um, and all the bad stuff that you, you, you know, you're not used to using fat for fuel, stuff like that, pulling all those toxins out of you um, when you're getting started. So that could be a normal effect as well. Um, hopefully this makes sense. Um, I just wanted to um, go over what this whole whoosh effect is um, as you guys have had questions about it. And hopefully I explained it well enough. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email me and I would be happy to explain it more in depth. Um, just email me at keto nurse calais at gmail.com. I have it um, linked below as well. Um, that you can just click and email me there. And feel free to join my free online community group that I have. Um, I go over, you know, how to get started on your ketones, the ketogenic diet. Um, I have resources in the files tab of the group, um, meal plans, recipes, examples, shake recipes, um, the whole ketogenic lifestyle, like a guidebook on that. And I have that all linked below um, a free group on Facebook. So feel free to join that. And if you do wanna try a 10 day experience, um, from me, I package up ketones here and ship them out to you and that way you can try um, ketones and um, get feeling how it is with burning your fat for fuel for um, better mental clarity, energy, focus, and of course um, fat loss is a, fat, a side effect of it too. So I'd be more than happy to ship you out a 10 day experience. Um, again, that is linked below on more info on that. You can click the link, fill out a quick Google form and um, I will send you a video on what um, the ketones do in your body, how it works, and then we can get you started on a 10 day experience or simply email me and say, I'd like to try a 10 day experience and I will get that started for you as well. Um, and as always, please like and subscribe